Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you happen to be new here, welcome to the Painted South. So in today's video, I'll be sharing how I changed around some of the furniture in the guest bedroom and decorated the space for fall. Since we definitely have visitors coming in November to stay with us for a few days, I wanted to go ahead and start getting the guest rooms ready. This room is where my mother-in-law will most likely stay, and so I wanted to get it nice and cozy just for her. The first change that I wanted to make was the area rug. I love the look of jute rugs, but they are not very comfortable or soft on your feet. So I decided to use this rug that I purchased at HomeGoods. Now when we rolled it out, there was a black mark on it. I don't know if it was from the hanging device at the store or, or what it was from, but luckily I was able to get it out and totally clean using awesome cleaner and just some wet paper towels. You may have seen in a previous video where I shared an electric fireplace that I ended up giving a makeover. I thought this would be the perfect addition to this room so that my mother-in-law stays nice and cozy and I ended up removing the glass which I will show you later on in the video. Now as many of you know I have been searching for weeks trying to find comfortable furniture that suits our taste and it has turned out to be quite the challenge so I wanted a nice comfortable chair for this room something like an upholstered wing back or a little club chair to sit here maybe with a small ottoman but for now I'm just going to use what I have until I find a better option these were Facebook marketplace finds and the lamp beside it was a recent estate sale find now I'm going to be on the hunt for a beautiful chair, maybe a chenille wingback or maybe a little recliner or something for this space. But for now, this chair will have to do. Since I decided to remove the desk and replace it with the fireplace, I wanted a clean surface for guests to be able to place their belongings on and underneath. I had repurposed this counter height dining room table as two console tables in our last home. They ended up getting really scratched up during the move, so I decided to clean them up and give them an aged finish by layering more paint and sanding them down really well. And then I went back over the paint with black gel stain and then a top coat. So I intentionally left this particular table totally bare so that our guests can use the top surface and tuck their items underneath as I mentioned before. But now let's take a look how I added just a touch of fall decor without making the room feel too full or cluttered. On the shelf over the bed I hung a thrifted mirror by chains. In the center, I added a bird cage flanked on either side by a pair of birds and a pair of pumpkins. I also added some mixed greenery and fall leaves, some acorn picks from Hobby Lobby. I love adding in pine cones all through the fall and winter. They're one of my favorite things to decorate with. The brass candlesticks are thrifted and the rustic, battery-operated candles are from Sweet Simplicity in Leesville, South Carolina. On the day bed below the shelf, I kept the neutral bedding and I just added several pillows. I purchased these super soft faux fur ones in deep earthy tones and they are from Home Goods. They are so soft and cozy, perfect for snuggling. I filled the French country cabinet, which I also did a makeover on earlier this year. I filled it with pieces that offered rich, warm colors and textures. The bird art was thrifted for only $4. 
Now, I didn't want to display too many decor items. I'm not a minimalist, I'm kind of a maximalist, but sometimes you have to find a stopping point that falls somewhere in between making something look interesting and making it look like a storage cabinet on display. While I'm on the lookout for another chair for this space, since I'm going to be using this one and the seat cushion fabric didn't quite go with this space, I decided to take a king sham that I had on hand and just drape it over the seat and then tuck a couple of pillows on top and I think that works just fine for now. I'm also considering swapping out some of this mantle decor as I pick up some things and I'm probably going to add some personalized photo frames with family photos once our visitors come. But for now, I just decided to hang a beautiful landscape painting. I love landscape paintings. I thought about doing a collage on the wall, but again, I'm trying to keep it fairly simple. I did want to add a little bit on top of the mantle, so I added these architectural pieces that I also thrifted. I added some greenery that I had on hand and two more pumpkins. I do want to get out again really soon and pick up a few more pieces of greenery and fall picks. Maybe a few more pumpkins, you know, you can never have too many. And I would love to find a few fall blankets. If I make any changes or additions to this space, I will be sure to share them with you on here on YouTube or over on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.